show that each number is a rational number. Okay, let's start with our first example. So negative 10. So to show that this is a rational number, we have to write it as a ratio of two integers. So integer over integer. So you might say, what's an integer? So the set of integers is all of these numbers here. So dot, 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 negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. So it's all the whole numbers, so 0, 1, 2, 3, etc., and as well as all of the negative ones as well. So we have to write negative 10 as an integer over an integer. So one way to do that would be to write it as negative 10 divided by 1. And so that takes care of it. We have shown that negative 10 is a rational number because it's an integer over an integer, right? Negative 10 is an integer, and so is 1. Let's do another example. EX means example. How about um, negative 0.1? So if you know from, I guess, from math, 0.1, this is in the tenths place, tenths place. So this is really 1 over 10, right? 0.1 is 1 over 10. So if it was like 0.2, it'd be 2 over 10, etc. 0.3 would be 3 over 10, because then it's in the tens place. The first digit is the tenths or tens place. So here you have a negative, so it's negative 1 over 10. So you can write this as negative 1 over 10. So that's an integer over an integer, therefore we've shown that negative 0.1 is a rational number. Let's do another one. EX means example. How about uh, 1 and a half? So this is uh, called a mixed number. So the way to do this, the way to turn a mixed number uh, into a proper fraction is as follows. You do 2 times 1, which is 2, and then you add 1, so you get 3 over 2. Boom. And that is a rational number because it's an integer over an integer. Again, 2 times 1 is 2, 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 over 2. Let's do another one. Say we have 2 and 4 sevenths. Hardcore, right? So it would be 7 times 2, so 14. And then 14 plus 4 is uh, 14 plus 4 is 18. So you get 18 over 7. So that's a rational number, integer over integer. Let's check that. 7 times 2 is 14. 14 plus 4 is 18. Good stuff. Let's do another one. Say we had um, 2, well not 2, we already used 2, 3 and 1 fifth. So in this case, you would do 5 times 3, so that's 15. And then 15 plus 1 is 16. So you get 16 over 5, and that's an integer over an integer. So it is, again, a rational number. Let's do another one. I'll do it down here. What about the number 0? Well, we can write the number 0 as 0 over 1. So it's integer over integer, so it's a rational number. Right? 0 over anything is 0. We could have done this as 0 equals 0 over 27, right? Same thing. Uh, we have an integer over an integer, so 0 is indeed a rational number. Let's do another one. So we have 0.42. So now we have uh, two decimal places. This is the hundredths place. So this is equal to 42 over 100 because it's two decimals. And that's it, right? It's an integer over an integer. You can reduce this as well, but I won't bother. So I hope this video uh, has been helpful uh, to someone out there who is learning about integers and rational numbers. Remember, to show an integer is a rational number, uh, rather, to show a rational number, uh, to show a number is a rational number, uh, you want to write it as an integer over an integer. So that's it.